Hello, this is Cindy, and I thought I'd check in for a minute. I was thinking this morning, last year, about this time, well, actually, the beginning of January, I made uh, a post on my blog. Uh, let's see. 10 things I plan to do to grow as an artist in 2016. So I want to look back at that and see if I've uh, done any of these things. Number one, take some classes. Oh yes, I take classes like there's no tomorrow. Although they are all online classes. Um, I haven't taken any real in life classes. There just don't seem to be any in my area, but I take them online all the time and everything I've learned is from online classes. Number two, create my own videos. Yes, I have, I've done that. Um, at uh, this time last year, I'd only made, you know, one or two, three maybe videos on YouTube. I didn't really know how to do it, but I started uh, my Creative Heart Monday video series. And up until this past Monday, I never missed a Monday. I did miss this past Monday because I was just getting too uh, freaked out. I was going out of town and I had so much going on and um, I just didn't do it. But other than that, I've made one every Monday and I love making videos and I'm going to continue doing that. Number three, learn more about color. Eh, no, no, still, uh, I bought a color wheel, but... Other than that, color still uh, freaks me out. I never know what colors to use. I'm getting a little bit better at not making mud, but still have a lot to learn there. Number four, paint something huge. Nope, didn't do it. Did not paint anything huge. Number five, be in an art show. Actually, I did participate in two teeny tiny little um, arts and crafts shows. I want to do more this year, but I did actually uh, participate in two of them, so I guess that counts. Commune with other artists, number six. Um, I have been doing that online. Um, I still haven't joined the art group in my area, Gainesville. I'm going to try to do that this year. Uh, but I've met a lot of great artists online, and I started a Facebook group, Mixed Media Passion, and I have, I think, 570 uh, people in that group now. And I love talking to the people uh, in the group and people that comment on my videos. There are just so many nice people out there, except for that chick that... Uh, told me I was too wrinkly last week. Yeah, she told me that I had too many wrinkles on my face. That was kind of whack. But other than that, people are so nice and there's so many talented people. And uh, I like talking to them, to you guys. Uh, let's see, number seven, guest blog. Yes, I've done that. Um, I did a guest blog thing on uh, Stencil Girl and uh, Margie Kemper, and uh, of course I'm on the um, Gel Press creative design team, so I put posts on their blog and their um, YouTube channel. Number eight, social media. Uh, absolutely, I've done a lot more with social media. Um, since I started uh, joining Facebook groups and starting my own Facebook group, I went from basically no subscribers on YouTube. I have 1,200 now. Uh, and that's really just from joining Facebook groups and uh, sharing my videos on there. It's wonderful. Okay, let's see. Number nine, try new things. Yeah, yeah, I've tried some new stuff here and there. Uh, I have to come up with something every Monday something different to do. So I have tried some uh, new things this past year. And number 10, get my mind right. Um, well, I don't know if I'll ever do that, but I am more confident than I was this time last year. Um, 
last year. I didn't, you know, I thought everybody's better than me. I'll never want to show anybody my artwork because it's just, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, it's just not good and all of that stuff that uh, I'd been telling myself for a long time. So as far as getting my mind right, I am more confident than I was last year. So, you know, I'm working in that direction. Now, what I plan to do uh, for 2017, I'm gonna keep doing my Monday video, Creative Heart Monday, but I thought of two more things I wanna do. Um, I'm not an art journaler. I think I'd like to be an art journaler. I have um, different books that I draw and paint in, but they're not really what I would say, you know, what I would consider an art journal. So I want to do an art journal that, um, you know, has some sort of rhyme or reason to it this year. I'm going to um, make it myself, you know, make the uh, cover and everything. I'm going to do it sort of um, like Christy Sobolewski does hers where uh, loose pages and then she binds them all at the end. So I'm gonna do that and I'm going to uh, do it as a video series and I'll probably in the next couple weeks put a thing on my blog if you'd like to subscribe to my art journaling series. Uh, that way you'll get it in your inbox whenever I, you know, I don't know if I'm gonna do it every week or every other week or every day. No, I'm not gonna do it every day, that's for sure. Um, but I'll put more about that on my blog. The other thing I thought would be fun to do, I um, got this book at the gift shop at the Metropolitan Museum of Art this past weekend, and Secret Lives of Great Artists. And it's got, you know, a lot of little interesting stories about great artists. So I thought it would be fun if I had a little series where I pick an artist and I do something inspired by their work and also tell a little story, a little interesting story about them from the book. But, um, you know, like do a Jackson Pollock-esque painting or a Picasso-esque painting. Um, I just thought that might be kind of cool. So that too, I'll uh, I'll put some information on my blog if you want to uh, subscribe so that you can get it in your inbox. Um, I mean, they'll also be on my YouTube channel. So, you know, you can see them if you see them. But if you want to be notified when I put one up, um, in your inbox, you can subscribe like a lot of people do with my Monday videos. And so I think that is all I wanted to say. I hope that everybody is having a great holiday season. And I know a lot of you all are getting tons of snow. You're so lucky. It's gonna be 80 here today, I think. Um, no, it doesn't feel like uh, Christmas when it's 80 degrees outside. So I wish I were digging my car out of the snow. Um, now, obviously, if I were actually doing it, I'd probably be wishing I were somewhere else. But, um, you know, enjoy it, you guys that are getting the snow. And have a great rest of the day. Peace.